And then I could run back round and just. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we are back with a banger. All right, yo, 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 yo. The fire I have got for you guys over the over these few days. Yeah, you better be gassed. I'm I'm to, I'm serious. You better be gassed for the videos because I'm gonna be bringing some bangers that you guys ain't even ready for. <laughs> Real talk. But guys, in today's banger, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to not get scammed there's all these videos on how to scam how to do scam methods all this different stuff but today i'm going to be showing you guys how to not get scammed different ways to prevent yourself getting scammed now you probably already know some of these ways you probably don't i understand that some of you are like proper like scam experts and fortnite experts and if if obviously if this is the case or if you can learn something from it then that's great man but if you can't then at least give it a watch and a watch a watch and smash the like button as i would appreciate that but obviously guys before we do get into the video every single video i do it and you know the score i'll give a shout out to you guys so if you guys would like to get a notification squad shout out like my guy below me big shout out to you bro all you've got to do is subscribe with those post notifications on and then just drop a comment saying hashtag notification squad and then guys that's not it man if you guys would like to win yourself a free item out of my inventory like this guy did and if this is you watching the video yeah yeah hit me up on social media so i can give you a gun <laughs> yeah if you guys would like to win a, like, a, a 130 grade digger or a 130 of your choice like my guy just did then all you've got to do is just subscribe turn on post notifications and then guys go down to the comment section Make sure you smash the like button first and then just leave the nicest comment you can possibly think of. Well, that's about me, my video, my channel. I don't know, just anything. And then you will win a 130, in my opinion, if your comments are nicest. But I will only be doing this if this video hits 1,000 likes. So smash the like button right now. Just headbutt your phone or something. <laughs> headbutt your, your mouse, I don't know. When this video hits 1,000 likes, that is when I'll be doing it. But without further ado, guys, let's jump into the different ways to prevent getting scammed. Let's go. So the first thing, guys, about getting scammed, okay? There's a lot of different scam methods that you've probably saw on YouTube before. And if you don't know all of them, guys, I have actually got a playlist which is portraying all of these different scam methods and like how to prevent them. And one of the main... Um, scam methods that has been portrayed by one of the popular YouTubers which basically went viral this scam method is and um, if you didn't know it already basically it's the goalpost scam so if I come this side for example right at the goalpost basically I can't pick it up and this is what people will say but there you saw my friend just picked up my gun from that side but look I'm, I'm clicking X now and I can't pick it up so what I would recommend yeah I'm not going to go through all the different scam methods because that's not the aim of this video. I just want to um, portray to you that there are these different scam methods. If I was you guys, I would just stick to what you know. I would just stick to the little one by one bases, which I will, I will give you a quick example of a one by one base if you don't know one of them, one, what one of those is real quick. Hold on, let me get to mine real quick. So obviously, this is the little one by one base. If I was you, this is the most simple base ever. Like, this is what everyone trades in. But you will get those crafty people that do try and trade in different methods. I know there was a method where they could literally jump through the wall. Or, like, literally, if it was metal, they could upgrade and go through the wall. There's all these different methods. And this is why I would definitely recommend going and checking out that playlist. And just seeing all of the different scam methods and how people do them. So then, at least, then, you'll have a bit of an awareness of these scam methods. And you'll, you'll sort of get, you'll sort of see when you're trading with someone if they're trying to pull that scam method on you and also guys let me just say as well when trading a one by one just remember always trade on flat ground okay because as you can see here if i trade on um on an open area obviously bang you can just drop you down there edit through and just take your guns it's common sense and i know some of you are probably watching this thinking oh my god this is just common sense but i understand but we do have new players joining the game and they may not know this so this is the whole point of this video basically for the new players or just to give you some you know some knowledge on stuff that you may not have known so anyway let's move on to the next topic of the video on uh, different ways to prevent getting scammed so moving on to the next clip of the video guys Another way to, you know, sort of protect yourself from getting scammed is when you're trading with someone and they say that they've got a high power level weapon, right? You've got to ensure that they haven't got the same weapon because if they have two of the same gun, right? And sometimes people will drop themselves in. If they sort of, you know, got experience with this and basically are not stupid and they are pretty good at scamming, they won't tell you they've got the same guns. Because as you can see, there's just a few like little bait weapons on my different account. But as you can see here, right? I could say to you, I've got a 130 Nocturno here and I'm going to hold it here. I'm going to drop it here and if you could, and then, I'll, all right, I've got a 130 Nocturno there, right? 
And he's like, all right, then, yeah, I'll trade for that. And then I, I go one corner, and then I'll drop my other gun here, for example. I'll just drop this thing. So that's his gun. And then I'm like, all right, then, so... This is my 130 Nocturno here, but really, I'll drop like maybe. It hasn't got to be obviously 82. It could be like a level power, 30, power level 34, or like a bait weapon with no durability. And you wouldn't know. You literally wouldn't know. So then you're there. Go and get your weapon. Oh, yeah, scammer gets scammed. That's what they normally say. And then, yeah. So that's just another way. Just to ensure that they haven't got the same weapon. And if they do, if they just another bit, another way of ensuring that, like, because people do, like, ask them to send you a screenshot, man. And make sure that. They, they, they don't send you an old screenshot because I know that's happened before as well. Make sure they send you a screenshot that is in date. I don't know. Maybe get your gamer tag in. Maybe get your game in or just drop an item in front so that like, you know that um, get them to drop their items in front so that you know like that's actually an in date screenshot because other than that guys you haven't really got no proof and this is the problem. A lot of people get scammed from the bait weapon trick which is very risky. So always ensure to get a bit of proof before doing high high very high trades or whatever whatever size trade just make sure you get proof guys okay so yeah again you might have already knew that but hopefully if you didn't hopefully now you can take some knowledge from that and yeah that's the whole point of this video it's probably some some like professional blooming save the world players are probably watching this cringing but i'm just trying to help out people that didn't know and give knowledge to people that may not have had this before so yeah let's jump on to the next clip Another thing I just need to add on top of the screenshot thing as well, guys, which I did forget to mention, is that once once they have took that screenshot, make sure you don't let them go back to the storage. Because you do get those little clever guys, you know, that'll say, all right, I'll take a screenshot real quick. I'll drop my gun in my storage real quick. All right, take the screenshot. All right, let me, yeah, let me just go to my storage real quick and get a different weapon. Yo, these people are clever, man. Trust me. And the, 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 there was, like, the, 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 the extent... Oh, the stutter, Jesus Christ. The, the extent that people take this scam into is on another level. And trust me, if you saw some of my scammer get scam videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, guys, just make sure once they've took that screenshot, they don't go back to the storage and then uh, try and get back out the bait weapon uh, to try and trick you. Or even if they do have to go to the storage, just make sure they take a screenshot of the whole the whole inventory including the storage inventory so if you go to your storage it brings up your inventory and your storage inventory take a screenshot there so then you've got full evidence of the whole whole inventory and it isn't like they can store weapons anywhere else so yeah anyway let's jump into the next clip guys okay guys so moving on Wait. to another way to prevent getting stamps stammed what scammed and this is a, a like sort of a thing that goes for both of you the person that um you obviously and the person that you're trading with or like whoever's got host okay so standing still when trading there's many reasons why you shouldn't do this and one of them being is because as you can see my man right here is a constructor right and if you didn't know constructor characters have a thing called decoy and um i'm gonna get him to do a little reset to do a little um example of what a decoy does to you in a second by the way if you want to go and check out reset's twitch channel his link will be in the description okay but basically what it does is traps you so you can't move then obviously if i'm if he pretend i'm reset he can just he can trap me walk past me take my guns and then just laugh at me you know what i'm saying so i think sometimes you can jump out of it i'm not too sure i think you have to be a ninja but okay so i'm gonna show you what can happen now when i get decoyed so reset go on mate show me it should please please don't miss please don't miss it miss <laughs> You actually missed. But anyway, <laughs> so that is what actually happened. So basically, that would have went on top of my head and then got me trapped. But Reset and his bad aim actually missed me. But that would trap me. And, and <laughs> Bro, I said stand still. <laughs> oh, bro, I was standing still. Don't blame me for your bad aim. But anyway, another thing, like, say, for example, if Reset was the host, right? Get And you're dropping your weapons, okay? One, always, if you if you give someone host in your home base, always make sure they drop first. Because if they, if you don't, if you drop your weapons and they're just a horrible person, they'll kick you. You'll both get kicked, but he'll just have the satisfaction of seeing you lose your weapons, obviously. So, um, if, if, if you're, like, you're trading in someone else's uh, home base and they've got host, they refuse to give it you. Um, oh, oh, yeah, another thing, always get host and edits. Oh, oh wow, bro. Always get host and edits. If you don't get those, like, don't trade. If they refuse to give them you don't trade, at least get one of them, okay? And if, if it was me, I'd preferably get edit, edits. That's me preferably. But anyway, guys, so when the other person has got host, okay, and you're in their home base, net, make sure when you're dropping the, your weapons that they never stand still. And the reason I say this is because if they're just, if they're moving about, like, watch, when I click my pause menu for moving about, 
bang, I'm standing still now, I'm kicking you, obviously. Do you know what I mean? If they're moving around, they cannot kick you, okay? They can't kick you, all right? So another thing you need to look out for as well, um, this can relate to the standing still and all that sort of stuff. If you want another bit of safety to not getting scams for someone to kick you from the game, all you've got to do is make sure when you're dropping your weapons, okay, Pull out your map. Oh, all right. Two seconds ago. Sorry about that, guys. I just had to go and open the door to my brother. All right. So basically, what was I saying? So when you're um, when you're trading with another person, okay, look right now. This is what I want to show you guys. So get them to pull their map out, and I want you to show something. Okay, reset. What I want you to do, bro, yeah, hold your map out. Click the pause menu. All right then. So now okay. his map disappears. Yeah, his map disappears. So that then obviously means they've clicked onto the pause menu and then they're basically going to try and kick you. So that's another way, like the best way in my opinion, to make sure that they don't kick you from the game, okay? Also, another thing is, obviously this can lead to them obviously like going and just editing the wall and coming through, which is pretty risky. So what I would say is, um, hold on, hold on, hold on, let go of the edits, let go of the edits. All right, wait. Okay. Look there. When, when I edit a wall, right, this is probably common sense, you probably saw it, but it's little things like you should don't notice, okay? I've got my map out, yeah? When I'm editing, the right arm lifts up with a pencil. That's how you know they're about to edit something, okay? Don't know if you knew that, but that's just how you know. Just be careful. And one way to prevent them, obviously, from coming through is just when you're dropping your guns, hold edits on the wall, turn around, and then just drop your guns because then they obviously can't pick them up, okay? There you go. So that's just a way, that's something to look out for when scamming, um, trading with someone because that is what happens when some people have been scammed by that. Like myself, I've been scammed that way. So yeah, it's just a lot, another little method on how not to get scammed, okay? So let's jump in to the next method. So another little thing that you need to look out for, guys, when trading is the sort of character that you are trading with. As mad as that sounds, obviously, when you're a constructor, you get the decoy and stuff like that. But when you're an outlander, I have, unfortunately, I haven't got it on the, this account. But what an outlander can do is a thing called that. And what that basically is is where like they can literally get to the other side of the training base within a second literally they click that voice crack though They click like they click up they click the two buttons and then bang they're to the other side of the the, um, the training base So just be careful of that when trading with an outlander and that relates to another thing that I was going to bring up another topic Which is do not trade outside don't trade outside I wouldn't I would never risk it because at the end of the day There's many reasons why okay, so I, I stand here and then oh, this is my weapon and this is their weapon. Now, depending on what character you are, right? Depending on what character you are, like I just said, if you're um, an outlander, you can just do the dash and just head straight forward in front of them and then just take the weapon. If you're a ninja, you could literally... All right, so yeah, we're going to try and pick up your gun, jump, double jump, and then just take their weapon a lot faster than what they can get through. And a lot, what people do is wait for you to get halfway and then step back and pick their weapon up and then just jump over you and then just take it. So that's one thing I would say. Never trade outside... Um, just always stick to these little one by one bases because honestly in my opinion They're the safest if you if you know the different scam methods and the way people can sort of like glitch through the system and stuff like that So anyway guys, let's jump into the next method on how to not get scammed So another scammy method that, that you may not be aware of and it's, it's 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 a pretty smart one to be fair Okay, so sometimes people will say that they've got a nocturne all right But they've got a siege breaker as well and if obviously if you didn't know the Siege Breaker and the Nocturne are exactly the same guns, yeah? The Nocturne has got a different pattern on. So if you're quite far where you're just not paying attention, yeah? You see the scar layout and you don't really pay attention. Sometimes people say they're dropping a Nocturno and really they drop a Siege Breaker. And I've been, I've nearly been scammed by that before. If you haven't saw my recent videos, my scammer gets scammed, you'll have, um, I have actually tried to, someone's tried to scam me with that method before. And basically they drop a Siege Breaker instead. And the main time that people do this is when they're trading in like longer bases, which which we, we, we will be talking about in the next topic. So yeah, one thing to look out for guys is when you are trading, just pay attention to what like guns they are dropping. Just always right, don't get too comfortable with someone and just make sure you are just do, do proper checking out what weapon they are dropping when they say they got something. When you never know, they may not even have that. But let's jump on to the next topic. So, moving on to the next method, guys, is obviously the 2x2 two two bases, the longer sort of base, okay? So, you need to be careful with these bases. And the reason why I say this is because there's a lot of scam uh, potential of getting scammed with these methods. And obviously, moving back to the last method, like I said, remember, looking in trade bases, look, they're just literally a blur. So, if you're not really paying attention, drop your weapons. You, they could be anything, really. But as you can see, look closely here, like, you can't, there's not really much of a difference. The exact same gun. That one's just a bit of a darker shade, obviously. 
obviously that's Nocturno. That's the Siege Breaker. And if you're just being a dopey guy and you're just not really paying attention, you could potentially get scammed and think that you're trading for a Nocturno and really get a Siege Breaker. So just be careful for that one. But anyway, moving on to the, the, the problems with the 2x2 two two base. And the reason is I could... All right, so this is the first one. Qu quick example, okay? So all I need to do now to reset is tell him to come closer, okay? Come closer, reset. Come closer. All right, so now what I'm going to do, guys, yeah? is I could just place a step behind him, take his edits really quick, yeah, before he can even do it. Obviously, that's a little thing that they've implemented, so he could just walk through that step now because it's shining yellow. Show him. Oh, no, it's not. It's not working now. All right, rip. But, yeah, <laughs> basically, no reset, can't get his guns, and then I could just go, all right, sweet, and then I could run back round and just... <laughs> So yeah, guys, before I fell off the map, I was trying to tell you that we could have just ran around and took his weapons, but yeah, we, we fell off the map. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, so another thing, obviously, is that obviously I'll place a step there, and if I do get close, I can potentially, you can't, obviously I've got a wall there already, and you can't get edits on it, but you can place a wall behind him, and trap his guns in, and then vice versa, just do the same thing, you know, and then just take the weapons. And also, guys, another thing that I forgot to mention when trading on, like, open ground here is literally just place traps okay just place traps if that if you're in a base with them and they they are refusing to um give you edits or they don't want to trade on flat ground then just place traps because at the end of the day they can't they, they literally can't um they can't edit through the ground which is fine then so obviously they can't edit you off or anything but anyway guys let's move on to the next step okay guys so moving on to the final clip of this video is when trading always check your surroundings and obviously this is a big thing and one of the ways that you like you don't really have to check your surroundings is just by making sure that it's just you and the person you're trading with in the game don't trade when there's other people in the game because there's so many risks with this and one of the main risks is you could be trading and then they're gonna stand behind you or they could stand, say this is your end, right? They could come behind you, wait for you to drop your gun, and just edit the wall quickly, take your gun. But one thing that people do, right, and I've noticed this so many times when trading, is oh, they'll stand behind their friend and just say, oh, yeah, I'm just watching the trade. When really, they're going to wait for you to get halfway, cross each other, so then the guy's already got your gun, basically. And then you're going to get to get his gun. Reese is going to edit this, and then that's his friend. Just take his gun, and then you've just lost your gun. And yeah, you've got scam basically. And another reason why you should um, is just check your check above you because people could be holding the edits and standing back, so it doesn't look. But you can obviously look how far I can go with while editing this. I can hold this like this already, and you might not even know because it's behind you. you might not even think to check. And then as soon as he drops his gun, run forward, bang, pick it up, and they've just took your gun straight away. And another thing is. Back to relating to the scamming methods, there was a lot of methods where people could literally get under the map. And I portrayed this in one of my videos. Like I say, the playlist will be in the description, the link to it. And basically, people could get under the map and you could be trading. You don't really think to look below you, do you, like, at the end of the day? And if they're standing beyond, you're not even going to notice, yeah? And then basically, what people do... Okay, there's reset, for example, yeah? Reset's under me there. You're not really paying attention to below you, like, you're not paying attention at all. I can't see his game attack that much there until, what like, now. But he could edit the floor and take your gun and then like just run off so reset i don't know if you're gonna be at night no, because it's under the map it's just a glitch where you can get under the map basically and it's just crazy so if i did miss anything out guys obviously i tried to cover everything that i know but if i did miss anything out be sure to let me know like your different methods in the comment section below and if you can tell me different like ways you to get scammed when i do a part two of this video or series i will definitely implement you you can be in this video too and you will get a credit and a shout out for whatever platform you would like a shout out on but if you did like this video and it did help you out in any sort of way you learned something new please smash that like button and just let me know in the comment section by leaving some feedback and make sure if you do want to see some content Content like this because remember what I said at the start of the video I've got some crazy 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 banger videos coming out for you guys in the next few days so make sure you sub with those post notifications on to be notified when I upload or stream and I will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and have a good day or night whatever time you're watching this man uh, thank you